and let's show my book club members. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christina, and I love to read books. I uh, I read all kinds of books, not just one particular book, but different books. Um, on this channel, right now, starting tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we'll be reading this book on my channel, If I Stay. Um, I'm also reading The Silent Patient. Is another book that I'm actually reading right now, and I'm on part one, chapter eight, so it's getting good. I think it's going to be on chapter nine, because I got like one more page to read, and then I'm like on chapter nine, so, and I had to stop. Housework to do. But anyway, this video is on most popular books. From my library, I was talking to some people at my library, and a lot of people, and the librarian said, go on our website, and you can see on the website some of the most popular books. So I did that when I got home from the library, and I wrote down 21 most popular books, and some of y'all probably has read these books, and some of you probably has not read the books, and some of these books might even be on your reading list to read. If not, you can um, put them on your reading list. Um, so, and see what they are. I will tell you if I read one of the books, I'll let you know. Um, the first one is by Bonnie um, Garmus, G-A-R-M-U-S. I'm not very good at pronouncing names. But the, the book is Lessons in Chemistry, which I really don't know what the books are about, but it sounds like it might be a book. I don't know if it's a book I would want to read or not. Um, you can look these up. I'll probably look them up and post pictures of this list and the books on my Instagram as well. Um, I will try to link my Instagram down below. Um, the next small, the next two are by John Grissom. He is a very, very good author. I actually like some of his books. And the two books here, it says The Judge's List and Spring Partners. Now, I've read one of his books, but I don't remember what it was that I read, my grandmother had the book because she really liked him as an author and when she was alive and in her right mind she lived in her house and I saw that book and I asked her if I could read it and she said sure and I read it and I was like yeah that was an okay book but I was like in high school so I was like a teenager and I like you know I like to read young adult books now too even that I'm not a young adult <laughs> I like to read young adult books. Um, the next two books are by James Patterson. Um, the first one is by James Patterson and Dolly Parton. And that's um, Run, Rose, Run. And I definitely, definitely heard so many great things about this book. And that it is a very good book to read. So I definitely want to read that book. The second one by James Patterson, I have read, and I would like to read it again, because it was a pretty good book, and that is 22 Seconds. The next one <clears throat> is The Paper pl the Place Papers, and it's by Tina Brown. Then we have <clears throat> The Love of My Life by Rosie Wash. And I, Welsh, Welsh, sorry, not Wash, Welsh. And I would love to read that book as well. Um, Portrait of an Unknown Woman by Daniel Sevilla, S-I-L-V-A, Sevilla, I think that's how you say it. And I'd like to read, that one might be a good one to read too. I've heard a lot of people talk about this book as well, and it's called The Maid by Nina Posey and P R O S E Pose Posey Pose. Um, 
And I've heard a lot of people talk about that book as well, and I hear that's supposed to be a pretty good book. Diva Hypeness by Ali A L I Hazelwood Al Hazelwood. I hear that one's supposed to be a pretty good book too as well. Night Run Night Run is supposed to be a good book. It's by Christina Hanna. And I heard some things, some of y'all talk about that book as well. This one as well, I've heard people talk about this in this book. And it's actually for sale in my library. And it is by David Bracada. I think it's Bracada. Bacada. B-A-L-D-A-C-C-I. Very good author. I love him. He has some magnificent books. And this one is called Dreamtown. Now that book is at my library for sale. Because when I went to the library today, I remember seeing the book called Dreamtown by him. I wished I had the 150 or 125. I had it. I could have bought that book, but instead I bought a couple other books. You will find out when I do my book haul, and I'm not ready for that yet. Um, we got Emma Stubbs um, in the book called This Time Tomorrow. And we got Miranda Kelly Heller, The Paper Place, which a lot of people, yeah, a lot of y'all been talking about that, that book as well. And that, The Paper Place, is actually on one of my reading lists, on my reading list to read. Now, I love, 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 love Colleen Hoover. And two books from her. Ugly Love. Oh, three books, I'm sorry. Uh, Varsity, B-E-R-I-T-Y. And then Remembers of Him. I want to read all three of them books, because I have not read them. But there are some Colleen Hoover books, I believe, there. And I'm going to see if these books aren't there. And try to buy them. So some of these books I'm reading off this list, don't be surprised when I do my next book haul if some of these books will not be in there because uh, they do them up. I'm going to actually have to go look it up and read about the book to see what it's really about before I decide to run off and just say, hey, I'm going to buy this book. Um, remarkably bright. Remarkably, remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Dilt. And then we have The Christine Affair by Nina Dill Garment. And The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. Foley. F-O-L-E-Y. Foley. Um, the Paris Apartment. I saw the cover of that book. And that looked pretty interesting from the cover. The Christine Affair looked pretty interesting too. Um, the last book on here is called Rising Tiger by Brad Thor. I've seen a lot of people hold that book and have that book in their book collection. And they like the book, but you can't always say, okay, for instance, I'll give you an example. I may love this book right here if I stay, which I do like this book. Um... But you may not like the book. I might like the book, but you may not like the book. I love the movie, movie, and now I'm reading the book. And to be honest with you guys, I think I should have read the book before I watched the movie. I used to own the movie, but I think I should have read the book and then watched the movie. So there are some books I have, and I have the movie to them, and I've seen the movie 50 billion times. But I definitely want to read the book and then sit down and watch the movie. That's one of my goals is to read all the books that I have that have a movie to it. So that is something I definitely want to do.
But anyway, that is it. So you can check out some of these books. I mean, I go to the library all the time. And I check out books and I buy books from my library because usually the books are a dollar. They're not over a dollar twenty-five. Um, some books might be two dollars. It depends on how big the book is and the author or something like that. But other than that, I have bought books and <laughs> some good ones. And I have watched y'all's videos on book hauls that y'all have done and. Y'all gave me an inspiration to do a reading list, which I have done, and books I want to read, and to be able to buy books that I would like to buy and give. I have done that as well. Until next time, hopefully my next my next video is tomorrow. Like I said, we'll be reading um, part of If I Stay. So. Join me tomorrow in reading that book. Until next time, bye guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like to. Till next time, bye bye.